Like, you ever realize that the word content is the same as the word content? That's all I got on that, but it's kind of weird, huh? <laughs> yes. Everybody's waiting for the rest of the like, Yeah, sorry, that's all I got. <laughs>What's up, vlog? Day number two of office time this week before we get to a student tomorrow. Our, our student landed yesterday and traveled from Australia to work with us here in Milwaukee, which is, which is pretty amazing and fantastic. So all you people who are like, oh, do a clinic in Florida, do a clinic in South Carolina. Somebody just came here from Australia. <laughs> so, no excuses. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to working with, we're having dinner with, with her this evening, and then we'll spend two days on the court with her tomorrow and Friday. Um, today, first task that I need to complete is an action plan for one of my two elite uh, coaching students, remote coaching students. Uh, we had a really good call yesterday. She was actually kind of a, a little iffy on some things uh, going into yesterday, but I did like a full analysis for her and really explained what we're gonna be accomplishing and how, and uh, she's totally on board now, which is great. Uh, elite student number two I need to connect with today. Uh, and then I need to complete the VIP promotional page today. Wish I had more time to just kind of give thoughts. Maybe I'll, I'll talk to you all a little bit later this morning. Uh, but this week is, is really, it's not a week at all, it's just, like two days of like trying to play catch up and do what's most on fire and uh, and then coaching for tomorrow and Friday and then into the weekend so uh, next week will be kind of our first normal weekend in a month basically so uh, looking forward to next week a lot but hopefully I'll, I'll connect with you guys a little bit later this morning it looks like there's a couple other videos not working in complete tennis fitness <laughs> It really kills me. No, it really does. does. It it's like, it's two different parts of my brain. There's like the creating, like happy, altruistic Ian, and then there's the dealing with whining and problems and like technical bugs side of my brain. And when I activate the technical bug side of the brain, my creativity side of the brain, like it's totally stumped up. <laughs> really? Yeah, 100%. Like when I was doing my own customer service. That's what I was like, how did you do your own like everything then? Well, it didn't used to be at the same scale, first of all. But no, it would like really like when somebody would write in like really angry and like just not even want to be helped, it honestly affects like the whole rest of the day for me. Like it's hard for me to, to deal with it emotionally. Some people are I'm too awesome. much of a people pleaser. Like I want everybody to be happy. So when I know somebody's just not happy and I can't make them happy. Like, it, it does something to my... Like the dude from yesterday? Yeah, like I can't... He just emailed me back today. <laughs> I, ha yeah, I like can't... If I had to deal with that stuff, my level of, like, output would drop dramatically. Not even counting, like, however much time I had to invest in it. That's funny. And ironically enough, those things don't... Unless it's me, personally. Now, if they're pissed off at me, pers which yeah. maybe, it, maybe you take it as a you personal. Uh, for sure, you yeah, know it's I mean? all me. Yeah. yeah, but if they're like, if somebody's pissed off at me, like personally, yeah, I get that. Kevin's always like, I like it'll bother me forever, which is ironic because it's not my personality. Maybe that's maybe that's what it is. Because you feel like it's towards you, not no, necessarily. I don't know. I'm like putting. I'm remembering back you, when I had normal jobs. I mean, no, I definitely take it personally, even when it's not like my company or my whatever. I don't know, I just, it makes me uncomfortable when people aren't happy. What's up? It's coffee time. Tastes good. Uh, right now I am finishing up with some academy drill edits. We shot a whole bunch of academy drills, um, I think like 18 of them, back in April that I never got around to cutting up. Uh, so I'm going to chop all of those up and then over the course of the next few months we'll, we'll kind of trickle them out and release a few drills a week to academy students.
that's what I'm uh, tidying up right now. While I jam out and have my coffee. This, this in, a, in a nutshell is why I prefer, often prefer editing to shooting. Um, Cause I get to listen to music and, and drink coffee. That's, that's pretty much the summary. I, I do like shooting. Um, I wouldn't want to stop shooting and I, I enjoy having some variety. But this is my, my home base. I just got a text from one of our, our VIP students and it's gonna be a podcast episode. Uh, he, he wrote to me this morning, he texts me pretty regularly. Uh, he texted me this morning and said, hey, hey Ian, I had an interesting conversation with a guy I play tennis with. I told him I was reconstructing my forehand. He was like, why would you do that? It may take you years and you'll be terrible in between. Unless you plan to be good when you're 65 years old, then what's the point? This guy is like in his mid thirties, probably maybe early thirties. Um, and then he said, I mean the 60 year old thing is probably an exaggeration, but I guess there's a point to what he's saying. Ha ha ha. And I, I just replied and said, this is going to be a podcast episode, this is really important. And I, and I think this really kind of gets to this, this message, this text from this student is like the thing that motivated me to start all this in the first place. I was really tired of my enthusiasm level for improvement being at a 10 and my average student's enthusiasm level for improvement being at like a two or a three. And that was just killing my soul slowly. And I think it's really important for people to understand tennis players, like we are after people who don't care about just having fun. Most tennis players play tennis just because it's a fun thing to do and that's great and they sh you should do that if that's you. We frankly, uh, we're, not, we're not trying to attract those people. We're trying to attract people that are not satisfied with just playing. They're not satisfied with staying the same level for 10 years or even one year. They, they want to con they have a passion for improvement. Those are the people that we're trying to attract. And I think this is a, a life mindset. It's not just tennis, this is like across all areas of life. You've got <clears throat> most people that are 100% satisfied with the status quo. And they're looking to put in, I don't wanna say the minimum amount, but just the right amount that everybody else is like, okay, good job, and then that's it. Doesn't matter if they're growing personally or if they're mastering new skills uh, or if they're achieving anything greater today than they did yesterday. They're just looking to do what they're supposed to do and that's it. And that's most, that's most people in life. It's not just tennis players, that's construction workers, that's uh, woodworkers, that's school teachers, that's driver's ed, teacher, like I don't care what, uh, engineers, like whatever. It doesn't matter what uh, walk of life you're in. It's just most people are just there to clock in in the morning, do what they're supposed to do, and then clock out and go home and watch Game of Thrones. And that's not why we're here, and that's not why people watch our content. And so I think it's important, this is basically gonna be the podcast. I think it's important that people understand that A, there's a fundamental difference between those two mindsets, and B, whichever one you're in is totally fine, just acknowledge it, be self-aware about it, and then totally own it, and that's fine. If you're totally fine just with, uh, just having fun and like getting exercise and socializing, then that's great. You know, t t totally fine. Like we're we're not here like judging you if that's how you get satisfaction out of tennis, or if that's how you get satisfaction out of life. That's fine. Uh, just be aware of it and 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 own it, and that's totally fine. Um, but if you're one of the minority of people who is doing something, or you're doing life because that's that's not good enough for you and you want, you aspire to much, much bigger and better things for yourself, then don't let the majority of people drag you down from that. Don't let them influence you into feeling like you're weird or strange or like you're wasting your time or like what's the point? Like uh, you're gonna suck in the meantime. Like the person that my student is talking to is trying to get him to conform to how he views tennis. 
because it makes him uncomfortable when my student goes out with a video camera and an action plan and he puts in repetition after repetition trying to make small incremental changes one day after the next after the next. It makes him uncomfortable, it makes him question himself, oh wow, why am I just, just screwing around and like, am I wasting my time? It makes him uncomfortable, so he's trying to pull my student down. And this is, this is, <laughs> this is life. And you've got the people who are passionate about it and people who are trying to aspire to great things. And you've got the majority of people that hope, that wish that you would just calm, calm down and just sit down and just do what you're supposed to do, what you're told and, and just, just conform to the status quo. Uh, and yeah, I just. I read this text and it like kind of made me sad for my student, um, but also makes me really grateful that we have a huge community of people who are like my student, who are 100% on the same page with us, and they they are unbelievably grateful for what we do because we're speaking their language and we're providing them what they need to to uh, reach the goals that they're aspiring to reach, and so there's always going to be this like tension between those two groups of people. And uh, I really want our audience to understand that tension is there and that it's fine. It'll always be there. But to like really be self-aware of like what they, uh, what's inside of them and what they aspire to and really own that and, and be told, you know, not be ashamed about it. Um, because it is weird to be in that minority of people. Like people who follow us are really strange outliers in the world of tennis. And we love them, you know, for that. And we don't want them to feel uh, feel embarrassed about that. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for hanging out today. We'll see you tomorrow. Hope uh, you got something interesting or inspiring or helpful out of today's video. We'll catch you again tomorrow.